Hey folks, welcome back. This will be part three of price less than demand. So the first two equations that we showed looked at the percent change and also the equation where we don't have percent uh, format. And now we can focus on the last equation, what we call the midpoint equation of price elasticity demand. We know that once again, we have the change in quantity over the change in price. Delta represents change new minus old. We can also label this as the midpoint equation. So this midpoint equation is very useful when we have numbers that start off with zero. For example, when you wake up in the morning, chances are you have not eaten something or drank something, and so you are going to go get your bagel or your cup of coffee. So you're starting from zero bagels, zero coffee, to maybe one bagel, maybe two cups of coffee. And this is useful when we, again, start off with zero. As the equation shows, we, we could extend this further, that Q2 minus Q1 represents the change in quantity, but the midpoint allows us to find the average of both quantities, Q1 plus Q2 over two. The same thing goes with price, P2 minus P1, that's a change in price over the average of both prices, P1 plus P2 over 2. Now we have the midpoint equation. For example, let's look at Starbucks. Starbucks decreases price from $3 to $2.50. Thus increases the quantity demanded from zero cups to two cups of coffee. What is the price elasticity of demand? If we were to use the old equation that only looks at Q2 minus Q1 over Q1, what's gonna happen? Well, let's see. If we were to use the old equation, Q2 minus Q1 over Q1, now we have ran into the problem of having zero in the denominator. And we know when this happens, it becomes undefined and we can't solve. And that's why when we have zero as a starting point, the midpoint equation is much, much more accurate to be able to use. So again, we have two sets of numbers, quantity and price. From is old, to is new. From is old, to is new. And now we can plug in what we know based on the equation, the midpoint equation that we have. So again, we have two minus zero, that's a change, over the midpoint, zero plus two over two. And as we can see with quantity, Q2 is two minus Q1, zero over the average of both quantities over two. And the same thing goes with price. Here we have the old price of $3, the new price of 250. So 250 minus $3 over the average of both prices. And then now we can solve for this equation. So now we can solve for the numerator here, I'll put this side here. We're gonna have two over one. And for the denominator, we're gonna have negative 0.5 
over 5.5 over 2. Numerator becomes 2 over negative 0.5 over 2.75. And as we further solve this, we are going to get 2 over negative 0.18, which means the final answer when we divide 2 over negative 0.18 is going to be negative 11.11. Now, again, notice that we have a negative sign because this refers to demand. And for demand, we have price and quantity as inverse relationship. So this, we must take the absolute value to get a final answer of 11.11. .11. This number is greater than 1, so this is highly elastic. The greater the number, the more elastic it is. Let's reread what we have and see what's happening. When Starbucks decreases price by 50 cents from 3 to 250, your response to consume more Starbucks is fast. You are so now ready to go. You've got your Starbucks app. You found out about this perhaps happy hour breakfast, and you're now on your way to Starbucks to go get yourself a cup of coffee, or in this case, two cups of coffee.